Well, welcome back to Dobbo's Fishing Adventures. And this evening, I am at Southbourne. Thought I'd give it a go. It's beautiful down here. Got a quite a strong uh, offshore wind blowing, so that's good. Give me a bit more distance. But it's absolutely gorgeous down here. Might be the odd shower later, but at the moment it's all good. Um, yeah, beats town key, so I thought I'd uh, give this a go. So, uh, two rods, uh, Ziplex M4 High Flex M's, which are matches. Brought these back from the island. Purely to uh, give it a go here. They're perfect for this kind of uh, beach, which is nice and sandy. I've just had one rattle on the... Well, there it goes. So I've just had my first rattle. So I've done my first cast. I've just had my first uh, rattle on the left-hand one here. Pretty much the usual tactics. I've got two hook clipped down. And... Uh, bomber on the other one with uh, 3 0 2 0 wide gapes, Sakumas. So I'll put... Uh, bigger bait on the right hand one when it just gets to dusk I've got me uh, Fox Compact Evolution Bivy which I've had for, for probably 20 plus years absolutely quick and easy to put up I prefer that in the, the standard beach buddies just a little bit more room in them, a bit more comfort sort of thing. A few other people down in fishing. There's uh, Hengsbury Head, the cliffs there, just in the foreground. I will definitely give that a go somewhere, but the trouble is the parking, once again, Although it's 24 hour parking, they do shut at 10 and uh, then you're not let out until 6 o'clock. Which is good, I suppose, if you, if you want to do an all night session, then happy days. At least you know your car's in uh, a bit secure and that. I've paid for four hours in the car park here. I will move it out because this uh, car park up the top here closes at midnight. So I'll, if I want to stay longer, then I'll... Uh, don't move the car out onto the top road, which is fine. Not cheap. That was £10.20 for, I think it was five hours, but I don't really come down here enough. Well, I say I don't come down here enough. The last time I fished this place was uh, seven years ago. So, but yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, just been so busy at work, so if you've wondered why... I haven't done too many videos, it's just I've just been so snowed under with work and that. I just haven't had the chance this year to really get out in the boat quite so much. Still the soul will be in soon, so uh, I'll definitely be uh, having a dabble out in the boat very soon. Tell you what though, the last, uh, last sort of like three or four days have been so hot. I mean, it's been 30 degrees up in the unit and it's... Uh, very very sweltering up there oh, that rod's still uh, tapping away so bait wise I've got the normal I've got ragworm goes without saying I've got squid and I've got mackerel so I will do some wraps later squid and mackerel wrap I will even do uh, mackerel and ragworm wrap bind it up with the old bait cotton that works well but yeah, what a glorious evening, so fingers crossed we'll be, uh, I'll be able to get something. Just nice to be down here, really is nice. I said to Shirley, I said, that's it, I'm going fishing. And I thought, Southwall, why not? I've had it in my mind now for the last month or so to give it a go. So here I am, fishing at range. Got a good uh, following wind, so that, you know, once you get the height there, it certainly does carry it a little bit further. So I'm probably fishing, 
I would say conservatively probably around 175, 160 with the bait. I mean, I was almost emptying the pen reels with just five ounce lead, so I definitely know I'm at, I'm at that distance. So yeah, happy days, right? I should keep you guys informed. Bring it on. Let's see what we get. Let's see if that left hand rod uh, produces something in a second. See you in a bit. Right, like I said, I was having a few rattles, so uh, I think it's going to be worth uh, worth a bait check anyway. It's probably been 20, 25 minutes. And uh, let's see what's on here, if anything. Fingers crossed there is. It's beautiful down there, isn't it? Cracking. Absolutely cracking. Well, it's definitely something there. Whether it's fish or not, I don't know, unless there uh, doesn't seem to be any weed here, which is a uh, quite a bonus I have to say these rods are absolutely cracking for beach fishing as in these sandy conditions it's beautiful unless I'm winding me other one in no <laughs> Well, there's some weight on here. Let's uh, let's hope it's a fish. Just take me time, in no rush. Unless it is white, unless it is weed, I don't know. Or maybe not. Well, there's a lump of weed there by the looks of it. Get that down for you. There's weed there, is there anything in amongst it? Who knows? Oh no, that's on the leader and it looks like there is a fish here. Get that bit of weed off, but yeah, I've got fish. Fish on. There we go, double shot of something. There you go. Not bad first cast. Thorn back in a small place. Can't complain at that. I mean, it is quite a, it's quite an easy beach. Southbourne is, don't get me wrong. It is quite an easy beach, but. There we go, small thorn back. and a small place. They're only size one hooks, so that's good. And at least that weed's uh, not horrendous. We should get in on the bait, so I'm pleased with that. But yeah, there we go. Bring it on. Oh, I'm well pleased with that. Happy days. So here's the rig. Just a standard two hook clip down. This is why normally this is my go-to rig, so to speak, that I use all the time. And uh, never really lets me down. Uh, make all my rigs, like I've said before. Make them all myself. It's a lot, lot cheaper. So, yeah, really pleased. Happy days. So that's a little thorn back in a place first cast. Bring it on. Let's get it out there. Well, they said rain was coming through and uh, a few heavy spots out there at the moment. No, really pleased with that. Nice. First cast, thorn back in the place. Just hope this uh, rain will ease off. As to be fair, I didn't really bring much in the way of waterproofs. But hey-ho, it is what it is. 
No, it's a lovely beach. It is easy fishing. You don't have to hit range at Southbourne. Close in, you will get plenty of fish. Very similar to when I fished it uh, seven years ago. It's, yeah, it's quite manic. Don't go overboard with big baits. Yeah, after dark maybe, but you'll catch fish all the way during the daylight hours at Southbourne. So I would definitely, definitely recommend it. Come on, Rain, hurry up and stop. Not good. Still, I've got a few provisions, plenty of ciggies, happy days. Speak to you in a bit. Well, on the second cast there, just had a slightly bigger place. So I'm pleased with that. And that one, uh, I took a panel, but like I said once again, I am using worm baits at the moment. So there we go, nice little place, <coughs> second one, let's say slightly bigger. Happy days get out there a little bit but hey there he goes just see him there <clears throat> let's go down and have a look see if he's going to move he is literally right there you can just see him how camouflaged he is happy days that's good really pleased with all that still spitting with rain No, it's cracking, cracking even. So far, that's two place and uh, a thorn back. That wind's a bit gusty, but like I said, it's over the top, so I'm happy. So I'll get a uh, double pat in the old uh, reefs now, I think. Just so I'm not wasting too much time. I'll have a quick check on that one, actually. Yeah, I'll just do that now. It's been out there the same time. Right then, let's have another look then. I mean, it's great fishing the old uh, beaches and it's sandy beaches, but right, I don't know if I'll get into all your gear and that. I had a bit of sand in then, in the reel then. Let's have a look. A little bit of weed still. I don't think there's anything on this one. But then saying that, I didn't think there was anything on the last one, so. Oh, that wind. So it's nice and cool compared to what it has been for the last three or four days, so pleased with that. It's been baking. Anything on there, it doesn't feel weighty. Might be the odd bit of weed there, but it doesn't feel like uh, I didn't see that. I saw the bite on that one, the other rod for that other that other place, but I didn't see uh, I haven't seen this one go yet. Well, there's a bit of weed there. Is there anything there? And a no. Nothing there this time. In fact, the worms are still there. Happy days. Right, let's get this back out before it starts chucking down. <coughs> Just had a good bite then. Good slack of liner. So let's, uh, let's hope this uh, produces something. Yeah, that was a cracking bite. A lot of slack line there. I want to eat it regardless. I would say there's something there.
that I haven't been in long. Well, it was that, in fact, it was after that, uh, that better place, so. I can't feel too much. It is getting heavier. Obviously, I'm picking up weed a bit. Come on, what we got? I would say there's definitely a fish here. That felt like a little pool then. Haven't had a small bass yet, so that'll be a little species tonight. Or a small smut. There's the usual weed on the lead or not. There is, there we go, double shot of something, I think. That looks good. Oh, good, got the weed through the lead or not? What we got? There we go. Another double shot of place. <laughs> There's plenty of these out there. One spare wood. Oh, I'm pleased with this. Shame they weren't about a pound each. I'm catching, that's the main thing, that's what it's all about. Check that off. Here we go, so another double shot. Throw up that one. There's that one there. Cool, let's get it back out there. Wasting time. Well, after just putting those two plays back, just had a massive ratchet screamer then. And I would say it's on there, that's heavy. Yeah. Yeah, it's something good on there. Ray, is it? I think this could be a ray. Oh yeah, I can feel it pulling there. Come on. Yeah, it feels a good fish. I just literally chucked the place back, walked back to the bivvy and it just went zzzz. So, it's interesting to see what this one is, if I land it. Gosh, oh, go on then. Help you then. Oh, go on. Go on then, do that again. Oh, go on. There it goes. What is this? This is bloody heavy. See for that, <coughs> or possibly it swam off and I've maybe caught someone's snap off because. I mean, I've had plenty of rays from the shore. Nice, really struggling 
problem with this as in the weight of it it's not biting getting the odd little knob there but there it goes again then it comes a little bit so i think as the angle's changing from the tip to the leader and everything it's just getting a little bit just managing just get it off that bottom a bit come on now it just went a bit easier then oh, oh he's, there's there's my leader i think yeah now it's come on come on what are you doing Yeah, big old ride. Look at her. There she is. What we got? Nice. Angela or a thornback? Oh, nice big thornback. Nice big thornback. Oh, and a place as well. Look at that. Happy days. got to be seven or eight pound easy so there we go chaps let's just take the GoPro off so we can get a better look and closer so that's a big old thorn back and uh, double shot and there's the place Brilliant. Can't complain of that. Right. I think I'll put the bigger baits out now. Brilliant. Bring it on. Let's get some fake pictures. Put it back. So I'm just weighed up. Eight pound, 11 ounces. Gotta be happy with that, definitely. So that's uh, four place, two thorn backs. Eight pound 11. Really, really pleased with that. That's easy fishing at Southbourne for you. On a size one, happy days. <laughs> well, this is me uh, third thorn back tonight. Just a little over three pounds. So, uh, yeah, really good. So that's uh, three thornies tonight. I've had another two plays. So that makes it seven, seven plays tonight. Sorry about the light. Hold on, let's take the light off. There we go. Yeah, what a cracking evening. Absolute cracking evening. I'm getting bites every cast. Uh, that one was on the, the first of the squid and mackerel wrap, so I'm pleased with that. So I didn't get a lot of worms, so when I run out, I'll just go back onto the uh, bomber rig. As I say, a 3.0 and a 2.0 wide gapes. 30 pound trace line, and that's happy days. But yeah, can't complain at this tonight. Bring it on. Well, I'm still getting uh, plenty of bites. I've had one more place since. That's eight place so far. Oh, that's heavy. Might have a ton of weed on this one. Oh no, she's out. But yeah, I'm still getting plenty of rattles. Two species now. Play some ray. Let's possibly say there's something on here. Been bouncing away for the last 10 minutes, but I'm now on a bait check. Weed's not horrendous still, so that's good. I have to 
so I'm really uh, enjoying this session. Just make a change to uh, try a different venue occasionally. Yeah, something there, something. Oh, there we go. First part of the night. <laughs> oh, it's been well chewed as well. He's dead. Something's been uh, much. Look at that typical pout spinning like the buzzer is. Happy days. Another species. Probably a maybe a spider crab or something. Just. Uh, Just attacking it while it's sat there. Right, I've already got a second one all ready to go. We'll find, find a quick link. I say the weed's not really affecting anything. Like it's uh, skies and plates on the or anything so that's good there we go all right i'll sort that out in a minute put that on there do that that's why quickly drop my hands off Yeah, oh well, another species, three species. <clears throat> I was gonna say, I was wondering when the old pout would uh, eventually come on, the, come on the go, so. back out there, get close to the water. Ah, nice. That's well out there. My drag's always set, which I've always, always got your gaps. So you just don't know what's there, so. Let's have a look at the squid and mackerel wrap while we're here. Don't think there's anything on this one. bait up and get her back out there. Bring it on. 
Well, welcome back to Dobbo's Fishing Adventures. Uh, I've just literally packed up, just caught me last morning, and I've got a nice salt. Uh, really pleased with that, but I've just packed up, so uh, I'll just quickly uh, show you the sole and uh, pack the rods up and get home. So there we go. There we go, nice sole. Probably 12, 13 ounces. Well sizable, but uh, I certainly don't want it. Put him back. Prefer him when he's about two or three pounds. But uh, yeah, so uh, good evening, really. Nine place, all small. Three thornbacks, eight eleven the biggest, three two, and then a tea bag, one pout, and this sole. How good is that? I'm well happy with that. Well, I hope you like the videos. Um, if you'd like to like and subscribe, that would be fantastic. But just keep an out. Oh, come on, keep an eye out for Dobbo's fishing adventures. See you next time.